use to understand love you should be loving to understand love you should be loving only then you can understand various aspects of love love cannot exist as a monologue millions of people are suffering they want to be loved but they do not know how to love there are two things to be loved means desire for love and how to love how to share love and this is the major problem and love cannot exist as a monologue you want to be loved but you don't know how to love it cannot exist as a monologue it is a dialogue a very harmonious dialogue between two persons both are giving and both are receiving i share my love with you you share your love with me i am grateful to you that your love is showering on me and you are grateful to me that my love is showering on you unrestricted this is a dialogue so much love being showered on the man and is still he decides to commit suicide because it is not what people give to you that satiates what people give you the concern the care the love that does not satisfies you certainly it is what you give to people what you share with the people that satisfies it is not by being a beggar that you can be contented it is not that by being a beggar you can be contented instead it is by being an emperor and love makes you the emperor when love blossoms in you you are the emperor instead it is by being an emperor and love makes you the emperor when you give and this is one thing that most of the people lack and you can give so much inexhaustibly that the more you give the more refined the more cultured the more perfumed your love becomes with this comes contentment make this part of your deep understanding it is by being an emperor and by being an emperor satisfaction comes in love makes you an emperor and when you give love makes you an emperor when you give you share and love makes you an emperor when you give and you can give so much inexhaustibly that the more you give the more refined more cultured more perfumed your love becomes with this comes a contentment that cannot come by any other means people think that they can love only when they find a worthy a suitable partner this is all nonsense you will never find one people think they will love only when they have a perfect man or a perfect woman this is also nonsense you will never find them because perfect woman and perfect man really does not exist and if they exist they won't bother about your love they won't bother about your love 
they will not be interested in your love. I have heard about a man who remained unmarried his whole life because he was in search of a perfect woman. When he was 70, somebody asked him, you have been traveling from place to place, to and fro. Could you not find a perfect woman? Not even one? The old man became very sad and he said, yes, once I did. One day, long ago, I came across a perfect woman. The inquirer said, then what happened? Why you didn't get married to that woman? Sadly, the old man said, what to do? She was looking for a perfect man and everybody had their own idea of a perfect man and a perfect woman. I may find a perfect woman in you but it is also important for the relationship that you also find a perfect man in me. Love is the opposite of lust. Respecting the other is an end unto itself. Respecting the other is an end unto himself or herself. When you love someone, as an end unto yourself, then there is no feeling of being hurt, no feeling of hurt. You become enriched through this. Love makes everybody rich. Love the person, but give the person total freedom. Love the person but from the very beginning, make it clear that you are not selling your freedom. So the second thing to remember is never to demand perfection. You have no right to demand anything from anybody. The more you demand in love, the love fails. If somebody loves you, be thankful, but do not demand anything because the other has no obligation to love you. So first thing, do not seek perfection and you have to remember that freedom is important. Freedom is the highest value and if love is not giving you freedom, then it is not love. It will not blossom. It will not attain wings. It will not soar to infinite heights. Freedom is the criteria. Anything that gives you freedom is right. And anything that destroys your freedom is wrong. Most of the cases, your so-called love destroys the freedom of the other. If you can remember this small criteria, your life slowly and slowly will start moving on the right path about everything your relationship, your meditation, your creativity, whatever you are or whatever you want to attain to. Never seek perfection. There was an anecdote which I had mentioned that a woman came to Hazrat Imam Zafar Sadiq, she was looking for a perfect master. So she asked, 
I have heard about you. To me, you seem to be the perfect woman. You seem to be the perfect master. I want to accept you as my master. The man, the master Imam Zafar said, that is not possible. Because all the way while you were looking for a perfect master, he is also looking for a perfect disciple. So do not seek perfection and I gave you the example in case of love. The man remained bachelor throughout his life. He could not find a perfect woman. And when he found, she was also looking for a perfect man. Everyone have their own criteria of perfection. And if you fit into that, that does not matter. That you will find the person who is seeking perfection in you also fulfills your criteria. Second thing is freedom. Anything that gives you freedom, freedom to evolve, freedom to grow, freedom to live your life. You want to do meditation, you have no freedom for that. You want to follow a particular pattern of life or religiosity, you have no freedom for that. That love cannot grow. That is not love. If you can remember the small criteria that freedom is the highest value, highest criteria, then your life slowly and slowly will start settling on the right path about everything your relationships with everyone will improve, your meditations will deepen, your creativity will enhance enormously. Whatsoever you are, that will blossom in its fragrance and beauty will spread all around. So in love, give freedom. Freedom is the highest criteria. Remember this is small sutra, then your life will be meaningful enough for now.